So one question we get frequently is, hey, how do I annotate over Google Slides? Or what's the best method for annotating over Google Slides? And when folks are asking that question, typically they are actually asking about something else. Because most of the time, you know, even when folks ask that question, they know, hey, you know, if, I, if I'm on a panel like this and I'm on an RS+, I can use the whiteboard tools in screen annotation mode to annotate over anything on the screen. And so I go to the side toolbar uh, and I use the top button, which fires up those annotation tools right there. And I can go ahead and choose my color and my thickness like that. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And then I'm going to grab my annotation tool, which is my stylus in this case. And that's great. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. So that works perfectly fine, except, and this is, this is where the actual question comes in. Because what they're really asking is, hey, how can I annotate over Google Slides, but have that ink stick to the content? Because if I want to move on to the next slide, I can put my annotation tools in pointing mode. That's what this arrow button down here that goes like that. Give that a touch. Okay, now I can move on to the next slide, which I will do. But oh, hold on. Yeah. See, that ink didn't go anywhere, right? I can go back and forth, and that ink, that ink isn't moving. <laughs> it's just staying right there because the panel tools, they lay on top. That's where the term overlay comes from, right? And, and most folks have that idea by this time, but I just want to point out and remind folks that that's what's happening. Panel tools are overlay tools, and so they won't stick to anything. And so that's really the question, is when I'm using Google Slides, where can I go or what can I use to give me access to annotation tools that will lay down ink that sticks to that content? So let's go ahead and talk about that. I'm going to get rid of these annotation tools here. There they go. And there are actually a number of options for, for making this happen. I'm going to show you two. The first option is to use a web portal that many of you are probably already familiar with. It's known as Kami. And of course, Kami exists. Uh, it's, it's a web portal that allows you to work with documentation and give you access to annotation tools uh, that work very nicely, uh, particularly with content such as Google, in, the, in this case, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Slides, where, where you don't have those native annotation tools, right? You have to go with an alternative. And so Kami is definitely one good alternative to make that happen. So I do this every day. So of course I have that slide deck in my recents folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire that back up inside of the Kami portal in this case. And here it comes, hey, there we go. Okay, so I've got my content back on the screen. And one of the great things about Kami is, and, and again, I've alluded to this, is that the, the tools are comprehensive, they're easy to use, and yes, the ink sticks to the pages. So let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna once again, grab my stylus, I'm going to go over here to drawing. I'm going to give that a touch. I'm going to touch a color. That's what you want to see. Stylus detected pop up from the bottom of the screen there. Just keep touching colors until you see that message come up. And then, sure enough, I can lay some ink just like that. And watch as I use my finger to move. Oh, well, hello. Yeah, the ink actually sticks to the pages. Great. So that is certainly a perfectly legitimate way to make this happen. But hold on. There's actually... A, there's, there's a caveat, there's a caveat here, and that would be because these, this is a Google slide that actually has pictures that I can move as objects, right? So you move the, the appropriate table to the appropriate equation. In this case, I'm not a math guy, so just bear with me on this, but uh, so if I wanna touch the, oh, hold on, that's, oh, yeah, see, that's no longer an object because what Kami actually does is Kami converts these files to PDF and that's what's, so when that happens, the, the objects, the pictures that are laid down as objects, they, they're no longer objects. Everything is just a, just a part of the background now. So if I still want an opportunity to lay ink down onto a Google slide and still be able to move objects around, maybe I wanna go with a different alternative. So Kami is certainly a good option when I have a slide deck where I don't care about objects, it's just I'm just running through the slides, then certainly this is a definitely a, a, a winner for doing stuff like that. But if I want to be able to move objects around, okay, maybe there's another uh, there's another option for me to do that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back to my Google slide deck, uh, and I'm going to go back to this slide right here, okay, because I have objects here, and move around. Okay, so now here's the thing. Let me go off on a tangent here for one second, because... 
see, I should be able to move this object around, but it's not, it's not doing it. Now, this is a funny thing that I've noticed with Google Slides, is that if you go away from the slide deck and then come back, I find that this happens. For some reason, the objects no longer respond. If somebody knows why that is, do me a favor, email me. I'd be very curious to know why that is. So if somebody has an answer for that, go ahead and shoot me an email. Uh, but I do have a fix. I'm using the air quotes here. I do have a fix for this, and my fix is uh, just refresh the page. So I'm going to go up to the ref the, the browser uh, web page refresh button here and refresh the page, and there we go. And, oh, sure enough, now my objects are moving around. So that's my fix for that. If somebody uh, has a better, nicer fix, once again, email me. But that's I just want to go off on a little, little tangent there because I know that that does happen from time to time. Uh, so I was talking about another option for annotating over Google Slides and having the ink stick but still having access to objects. Uh, I'm actually going to go to different web page this time just to show you. I actually have an extension for this, but I'm going to show you the web page. And it's called annotate.net. And these folks are relatively new. Uh, and this is, it, it does things and its purpose is very similar to Kami. You know, give you access to tools that you can use to work with content that you put on the screen. So the, so the idea is the same. Uh, but here's where we have a bit of a difference. So again, I'm gonna move back to my slide deck. Are my objects moving? Are they moving? Okay, they're still moving, good. I'm still in good shape. Because I know, again, you have an extension, as I mentioned, for annotate.net. That's one of the things that you can do when, you're, when you sign up, is get access to that extension. It also manifests itself as a button like this, okay? So, here's a case where, um, if I want to be able to move my objects around, uh, like I was doing before, but have ink that will stick, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to fire up the extension. I could use that button too if I want to, but I wanted to show you the menu where it says show toolbar, and that's what you want. You want this toolbar. It's a floating toolbar. You can move it around. You can't move it everywhere, but you can move it around uh, to make it a little bit more convenient to use. And you've got access to writing utensils. And now, because I'm, I'm not a real teacher, so I don't get access to the premium features, so I can't do much with the writing tools. Uh, teachers, though, uh, do get access to premium tools for free. So you have an advantage that I don't. Uh, so you can you can access you know all but kinds of colors and thicknesses and things that I that I can't access. So I'm just going to stick with the basic tool here, and I've got one going. So I can circle, I'll just circle that like that, perfect. Okay, and then I can go into pointing mode. Okay, so now I'm in pointing mode, so I can go back to my object. Whoops, and my object still moving, great. Okay, now what about the ink? Will the ink stick if I go on to the next thing? Oh, it sure does. So I go back to that previous slide, and there you go. So that's another option. Annotate.net uh, does give you access to a toolbar and then tools that you can use, annotation tools, that will actually stick to the content that you're working with. So a couple of good options for you uh, beside the panel to, besides the panel tools, when you want to have opportunities to be able to roll through your content, not have to erase everything on the screen every single time, Kami and Annotate.net Two very good choices when you're working with object-oriented Google Slides.